Hi, I'm Eric Roden, Editor-in-Chief of Fire Rescue Magazine. I'm here at FDIC 2017 in the Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm here at the Responder X booth to, to discuss a phenomenal new product, hands down one of the top three products here at FDIC. We're surrounded by tons of fire trucks, ambulances, booths, etc. Probably the most important thing in here is what I'm holding in my hand right here. Okay. Um, I'm joined by AJ from Responder X and we are going to talk about what I'm holding in my hand and why this is so important to the fire service. AJ, what am I holding on to? Well, thanks, Eric. I really, really appreciate the endorsement there. Uh, this is called Task Force Tracker. This is a wearable device for tracking and locating firefighters on emergency scenes inside and outside of buildings, especially where GPS doesn't work. This has been a big thing in the fire service in the last 10 years, as mm -hmm. you know. We feel we've unlocked the key to making this work, especially in heavy Type 1 construction. So what is this unit here, and, and how, how am I going to use this to essentially locate my members or, or know my, essentially, uh, position inside a fire building? So this is a wearable device uh, with multiple wireless transmitters. It communicates with uh, equipment that we mount to the emergency vehicles themselves. Uh, it's always on. The system automatically configures itself when you arrive on scene and it provides location information as well as some fire condition data and uh, information about uh, how the firefighter is doing. Are they standing? Are they crawling? Have they fallen? Uh, are they moving? Uh, and it can dynamically alert command and safety uh, to these conditions. The beauty of this is since it's a standalone device that's very, very tiny, you can mount it to anything you need to track essentially. We're obviously firefighter focused. That's where we came from. Uh, a fire incident is the inspiration behind this. Uh, however, this can be used for police departments uh, on tactical situations, uh, search and rescue, especially wide area search and things like that. Our radio technology has a range of about 20 miles. Wow. And so we can use this in a variety of incidents. We can also go through a lot of different types of construction because we're using multiple bands of radio that are best suited for going through concrete or going through steel and things like that. And we can dynamically switch back and forth depending on what's better for the incident. Oh, so my firefighters will have 100% confidence that this thing is going to transmit out their location wherever they're at, regardless of the type of building they're in. Yes, sir. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yes, we'll be able to get the, the location to within four inches in, uh, in the wow. best conditions. Wow. So, AJ, if I want more information on uh, the Task Force Track and Responder X, how am I going to get in contact with you guys, and how am I going to get one of these in my hands to take a look at? Well, if you happen to be in Bryan, stop by. We'll get some barbecue. Otherwise, our website is www.responderx.com. You can find all the information there, as well as how to get in touch with us and uh, schedule a demo. Excellent. AJ, thanks so much for uh, letting us come by and show this off. Uh, we, we wanted to get over here and get this... Uh, in front of everybody and uh, just again discuss the importance of this thing and uh, folks get to Lucas Oil Stadium if you're here go to their website check this out you'll be amazed thank you